The history of an organization is oftentimes preceded by a massive cause it collectively stands for. The Philippine Society of Youth Science Clubs was different. 25 teenagers who were finalists at the National Science Fair and Quiz in 1971 thought they would like to bond themselves and create a lasting friendship of some sort. Little did these young science enthusiasts realize that this proverbial seed would become the impetus of one of the largest networks of youth organizations with a noble cause, to make a difference in the field of science, technology, education, environment, and youth development. What events brought this change? 40 years of almost roller coaster history brought these catalytic changes in the organization. From a friendship circle whose mere potential was to become the participants to yearly institutionalized competitions, workshops, and trainings by then the Science Foundation of the Philippines and later its successor organization, Science Promotion Institute, such as science fair and quizzes, science journalism, energy conservation, and environmental watching programs. For almost two decades, the organization enjoyed a pampered status with the government agency funding and organizing its activities. However, in 1986, as the EDSA revolution brought changes in the entire government structure and policies, the science community was never spared from this metamorphosis. Science club activities were deemed irrelevant in the new SNT agenda of the government, and so was the demise of traditional science club activities that flourished in the last 20 years. The science club movement as we knew then met their tragic end, as new policymakers and newly installed government officials concluded that the programs of the past were outmoded and superficial in addressing the demands for hazen economic recovery. For three years, the organization struggled along with the other attached groups that depended on the government for funding and for logistics. Many withered and were just lost. But the PSYSC fought for its life, and in so doing, it clarified for the first time since its inception its vision, mission, and reason for being. With pledging support from private corporations and its influential board of directors at that time, the PSYSC then revived some of the traditional science club activities, starting with a science camp and leadership training. This time, it made sure that the program addressed relevant topics and themes that were consistent with the country's thrust for accelerating development. As the government prioritized undergraduate scholarships, postgraduate support for science teachers, and the creation of science high schools, PSYC took on the mantle of responsibility and spearheaded science club activities that were traditionally held, such as the National Science Club Month starting in 1991. In answer to the growing demands of the grade school students, who used to monopolize bulk of affiliates, the PSYSC created in 1993 the Children's Science Interactive Workshop that exposed young kids and the science club movement. Many other new activities followed, such as BASIC, or Beginner's Appreciation for Science Clubbing, Science Congress, which is a teacher training program for science club advisors. Cure, collaborative undertaking to revive the environment. Forty years later, the organization looks back at its history with both satisfaction and pride. For the last two decades, the PSYC has evolved from a simple friendship circle that initially was pampered by government agencies to a very responsive and responsible youth organization that made itself relevant to the needs and aspirations of a struggling nation. From a handful of 25 young science fair winners who sought deeper friendship, to the thousands of leaders who have been trained by the organization, from the humble beginnings of a fun-loving circle, 
to an organization of over 300,000 members trying to make a difference in themselves and for the country. The organization looks forward to many more years of truly becoming relevant for the nation. After all, this is what we have learned from our history. Yesterday, today, tomorrow, and in many, many years to come.